Hey, I'm Jay with Registered Real Estate Advisors in Spring, Texas, and it's Whiteboard Monday. And today, I'm going to talk about agency and who represents who in, in Texas. When you're buying a house and you're meeting your realtor for the first time, you should see something that looks like this. This is a form called the Information About Brokerage Services. It's not a contract. It's strictly informational. And it talks about the types of agency that we have here. There are, first of all, everybody knows that when you see a sign in the yard, that that's gonna be a seller's agent. They've, they've entered into a contract. The owners of the house have entered into a contract with the real estate agent. And the real estate agent's fiduciary responsibility is to that seller. What you'll wanna do is you'll wanna get a buyer's agent. If you're looking, you want somebody to represent you in the transaction and you want them to have your back, they're gonna, you're gonna be their fiduciary responsibility. What's important to you is important to them. They're gonna give you the same kind of information that the seller got when they came about pricing on their home and stuff like that. So you'll definitely wanna get buyer's agency if you are a buyer. Now, uh, let's say that you ride down the street and you see a sign in the yard and you don't have anybody representing you at that time when you call the, the number on that sign, they're automatically defaulting to representing the sellers. Now, if they come out and show you the house, let's say Agent Jay Richardson comes out and shows you the house, and you wanna write a contract right there, that can be done in what we call an intermediary re relationship, intermediary relationship, and that would be one that does not have an appointment. Um, I can take you in and show you the house, I can uh, work with both you and the seller, and I can treat you honestly and fairly and disclose all material facts. That's about where it ends. I can't do much more for you with either the seller or the buyer at that time. Now, if you call up my company and um, you want your own representation, we, we can accommodate that still in an intermediary relationship, but with appointments. You can see the broker, let's say it's my listing, so I'm gonna be representing the seller and we're gonna assign one of our other agents to represent you. And that way it's all fair and we will have our fiduciary responsibilities intact. You're gonna be represented and the seller is gonna be represented. Anything that you say w between you and the agent that you're working with will be confidential. They don't share that information with each other. Um, we look for objective evaluations on the property and that once again, same kind of information between the two agents. They don't share it. They, they in, 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 um, independently investigate that and share it with you. They give you help negotiating and they act under the principal's instructions. If the seller says, hey, I'm willing to do something, but don't tell them, I'm not gonna tell you. And if the buyer says, hey, I'm willing to do something, but don't tell them, the buyer's agent is not gonna tell me at that time either. Once again, we would be working under the intermediary relationships, but that is how it works. So I hope that helps a little bit on, with uh, agency in Texas. And if you have any questions, please call me. I'm Jay Richardson with Registered Real Estate Advisors in Spring, Texas. You can call me, text me, or email me. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.